breastfeeding can be easy for one and challenging for another i was once in this challenging position i felt like i was failing and that my baby and i's journey was coming to an end but since this is something that i really really wanted i'm going to be giving you guys my five simple tips that i did to be 11 months and still counting into breastfeeding let's talk about it even though my baby was not a natural born latcher i made it my business to latch him every single feed i knew this was the only way he was going to learn and i also knew this was going to be another way for me to up my milk supply fast my first tip to you is latch your baby this is going to be your most efficient and quickest way to up your milk supply tip number two hydrate i challenged myself to drink one gallon of water per day although i did not meet that goal every single day i was damn near close go to your local store today to make it easier for you and get you a gallon uh water bottle that has you know like the little measurements y'all know what i'm talking about get you one of those and start today also body armor was and still is my best friend i love 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 the strawberry grape it is so good when it is cold Go get you some strawberry grape or go get you one to test it out. Put it in the refrigerator for about six hours. Don't say I didn't tell you. Tip number three, you have to eat. I'm not sure if it was just me, but early postpartum, I had lost my appetite. Like I did not want to eat at all. I had to force myself to eat and it sucked. But because I wanted to breastfeed so, so badly, I knew that eating was going to be something that I had to do. So I slowly made it a habit to have me a bowl of oatmeal every single morning. Um, oatmeal is fun. You can put strawberries, blueberries, bacon. I paired mine with toast. Uh, you literally can do a lot with oatmeal. Okay, so I gradually started moving back in to eating snacks then i started eating full meals like we talking breakfast lunch and dinner and then i started adding snacks in between those meals so you just have to you know work with your body be patient with yourself and it's gonna all you know fall back in place tip number four girl you gotta get your sleep sleep is so important i think mainly the reason why i had problems going to sleep is because i was always checking is my baby breathing what is he doing so i was literally like abandoning myself to where it was like i couldn't even function anymore i want you to take a deep breath and understand that mamas need sleep too. Like your sleep is just important as babies. If you're not getting the sleep you need, that means that you're not going to be able to take care of your baby the way you know you would like to. Don't self neglect. Tip number five. I feel as though lactation supplements are very unnecessary. You do not have to go spend all this money on different things trying to up your milk supply because it says it's gonna up your milk supply. That does not guarantee anything it didn't guarantee anything for me i literally went to target and bought the lactation cookies and i did not see a change i actually saw a dip in my milk supply so i was like let me put these cookies to the side and just mainly focus on drinking water um eating things that's going to help me flourish because when you're you know watering yourself you're watering your baby so whatever you give your body it's going to give your baby let your body do its work you do not need to supplement anything breastfeeding isn't a breeze for every mama but don't sit up and compare your journey to somebody else's do not compare your milk supply don't be like oh don't get discouraged because somebody else is producing eight ounces after a feed and you're pr producing maybe two or three ounces after a feed remember a fed baby is a happy baby <laughs> All right, that sums up this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Peace.